Welcome, this is Zon with Repro Products. Today's video is on a general overview of Autodesk Formant. Here I am using Chrome and I've logged into Autodesk Formant's website, formant.autodesk.com. You have the ability to launch the web format version here, or if you've purchased, you can also install the Windows based operating system if you purchase the Pro version. I'm going to click Launch Format Web. And this will actually start the program. It will ask you to log into your Autodesk account. And from there, we can start working with the software. So what it is Autodesk Format? It's an application that allows you to, to draw freeform content, different shapes, and start using Boolean operations to start molding and creating um, your geometry. Very much like SketchUp. Uh, however, it is more enhanced because it has a lot more features and functionality at the same time, when you are creating your format model, you are also inherently creating a Revit model and Revit families at the same time. And you can input that data into Revit directly. <clears throat> so here I am. You can see we've got format. And you can either start from scratch, or you can open a file, or you can save a file. You can save it locally and to the cloud. You have lots of different tools here for drawings. For example, say drawing rectangular shapes. And then I can you know, click where I want, and you can see that I can click and drag. I can also click the um, the heads up uh, display for the size and type in the value that I want, and it will adjust accordingly. I can use different ways to select objects. And so, if, for example, when I have my mouse over the face of this, it'll select the face. If I pick an edge, it'll pick an edge. If I click a point, it'll pick a point. So I'm just going to select that face, and then I can left click and drag and start building that shape. So it's very easy to use to start building geometry this way. There are other tools, obviously, and this tutorial is not meant, video is not meant to go through every single command, but it's to give you an idea of different things that are available, like creating and drawing sketches, drawing different shapes. Say, for example, if you already want to place a rectangle here or a cube here, <clears throat> and then I can just select, for example, uh, the face, and then I can push and pull. I can also draw um, other shapes on top of the faces of geometry that I'm building or on the plane that I want to work with. And you can also use the intuitive UCS icon and the planes that it creates for you to start pushing and pulling. So depending on how you push and pull, it may add or may subtract the data. Okay. You have the ability to use different um, operations such as joining and subtracting and splits and faces and things like that. Um, there are other tools here that are available as well, creating and working with groups, which is similar to like blocks in AutoCAD or groups in Revit. They have solar and sun shadow capability. <clears throat> you have the ability also to set up the settings of the software and also to specify the location of how you want the project to be set up. Um, and where it's located. And if you run the pro version, you can actually do energy analysis as well and energy modeling as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up a sketch that I created a while back. And again, I can open it from my A360 drive or locally. You do want to make sure you're logged into the account, which is up here in the upper right hand corner. And so I'll open up the file locally. <clears throat> Once the file is open, you can start working with the software and you can start pushing and pulling and tweaking the shapes and start building what you need to build. On the right hand side, there are a bunch of tools that are available for you. You have properties of the project or depending on what you have selected, properties of the object. Okay, You have lay, um, <clears throat> layers, so you can set up layers as in this project as well. And a simple example is I can uncheck existing building layer. And that geometry that's been assigned to that layer is now not visible. And you could do the same thing for the others. So it's just a good way for you to manage the content. Uh, you also have scenes. So basically snapshot images of um, <clears throat> where you want to place the camera. And think of it like snapshots in Autodesk Showcase. And also think of it as viewpoints in Navisworks. And so you can set up as many as you want. You can customize them however you want to customize them. <clears throat> and you can also just play the scenes. 
And then also, you know, the next icon that they give you is visual styles. So you can adjust how you want to see the content. For example, uh, right now I have shadows turned on. And depending on the position of the sun and the, the location, you can click or unclick to start to see shadow. Um, you also have ambient shadow capability and you can go monochrome if you need to. Okay, and so from a general design study standpoint, you might want to use monotone surfaces just to get the essence of shape and volume and things like that. There's also uh, layers, I mean levels, so you can add as many levels as you need, and it's just like levels in Revit. There is content as well that comes with the software. You can go to the library that they give you, or you can build your own library, and you can drag and drop content. And then lastly, you can actually collaborate with other people within the um, software environment, and so they can get an idea of what you're doing and how you're do working with the content. Uh, and so that's just a brief general overview video of Autodesk Format for those who are not familiar with the software. Try as much as you can as well to go to the website because on the website there is a lot of content um, and there's always the updates as well to the software. And it gives you a little bit of textual uh, and written description of what the software can do. Uh, lastly, there is uh, all the different functions and features here. You've got some... Um, companies who are you know touting that they love using it and then um, there's also format Fridays so you know what you could do is you can just go to YouTube and um, look for format Fridays and this is from the Autodesk uh, format uh, team and they basically hello, created hello, a whole bunch welcome. of videos of how to work with the software and they just do little s short videos of you know, different features and functionality of the software. You can learn this way quickly as well. Uh, and lastly, you can head over to uh, Repro Products website. Uh, Repro Products is a YouTube site. So if I just type in Repro Products, you can head over to Repro Products website as well, YouTube site as well, and there's some um, format videos in here. Uh, and if necessary, you can head over to um, my YouTube uh, website as well and just do a search for me um, and it's spelled d-z-a-n last name is t-a and in here there are also format videos as well and that's it that's a good quick tutorial video on what is autodesk format thank you very much for watching